Well, this is gonna be part three of this series. Two years ago, I installed the Ready Brute Elite 2 from NSA Products in Kansas. It's been a great tow package. I've had a couple of issues with it, and I'm gonna present those issues to the NSA company, and we're gonna get their answers, but stick around. Hi, I'm Ricky from RV Underway. If you enjoy the RV lifestyle and love learning more about it, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, ring that bell to be notified when new content is available, and share our videos. You can also pick up your RV Underway swag by going to our YouTube homepage and clicking on store. And if you'd like to join RV Underway, there is a join button right down here. So. Uh, You'd be helping us out, and we certainly do appreciate it. Clicking on that join button doesn't mean you join. It just tells you what all the perks are. We're here at Hidden Oaks RV Park. This is a family RV park. 20 bucks a night because it's a Passport America. In the description below, there's a link down there for Passport America. Go ahead and check that out. It's only 40 bucks a year, and buddy, it's going to pay for it in your first two stays, guaranteed. Now we've had the Ready Brute Elite 2 from NSA Products in Kansas for about two years. We've put about 10,000 miles on this tow package with Gobi the Jeep and the RV. As a matter of fact, a couple of different RVs. But it has worked flawlessly for us. There are a few issues I'm gonna make a point of. But first, let's start with the base plate. The base plate is solid. The tabs are solid. I've had no issues there. My safety cables are intact. The safety chain's here intact. Thankfully, I've never had to use the breakaway brake, but uh, obviously that's uh, fine. I like the surge brake. It works just fine when you get it tensioned just right. Everything about it, great. We love it. But there are a few issues. Issue number one, here on the locking mechanism for the extension, it came with a ball. It's threaded on there. One of the balls vibrated off and I lost it. I should have learned my lesson on the other one. I didn't do anything and I lost it too. They vibrate off. So as soon as you get one of these, put some Loctite on there, tighten it down. Maybe you'll keep those from bouncing away. The second thing is this locking mechanism for the extension of this arm this locking mechanism totally disappeared. The whole shaft either went inside or it came out. I'm not sure, I can't get in here. But what I did was I put a bolt in there, I don't know about a 5 8 or something, but it's a long bolt. And I put the bolt down in there and I keep this arm extended so that I can hook it up. Maybe not the safest way, but I needed to do something at the time. It's been gone for about a month now or lost in there. So we're gonna find out what NSA has to say about that and maybe get a couple of these balls right here and ask them what else I might need to do to service my Ready Brute Elite 2 from NSA. But like I said, for the most part, love this product, recommend it highly. It's a great system, but we're gonna go ahead and send this video now to NSA products and I'm gonna get one of their techs to look at it He's gonna tell me what I can do to fix this. Might need a whole new arm here. Might be able to fix just the locking mechanism. I don't know, but let's go ahead and send this off to them. Well, we sent it to them. They watched the video and within two days, a design tech with NSA products got on the phone to me and told me exactly what I need. And for the upgrade, Randall sent me these parts right here under warranty. And we're gonna go ahead and get these parts installed, but I must tell you that it has been six weeks since we made that first portion of the video. And we have been hitting it hard on the road and it was a couple of weeks before we had downtime so we could receive the package. And then we were in a campground at the Air Force Academy in Colorado and we had this situation. Yeah, a tree. So I couldn't do the upgrade there, but we're here at Barksdale Air Force Base, the FAM Camp RV Park, it's a beautiful base near Shreveport, Louisiana, and this is the perfect place to get this video wrapped up. So let's go ahead and get down here, and let me tell you some of the other tips Randall gave me once we're down here with the tow package. After watching the first part of this video, Randall with NSA Products gave me a couple of tips. First of all, 
he reminded me that your safety chain, or in this case, the coiled cable, must be crossed when you attach it to your towing vehicle. A good old truck driving buddy of mine, James Cantonese, would remind you that that is state law in most states. You have to cross these so it adds stability and it may keep your tongue up off the pavement. So, cross your safety cables. Randall also suggested that I put the turnbuckle up here. Now, he didn't say that it must be done that way, but he has done so many of these installs, this is the way he does it. I would have the turnbuckle back here, but he suggests putting it up here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Randall also suggested that my breakaway cable needed to be supported. You don't want it hanging down, which in the earlier portion of this video, you would see that it was. If it hangs down, you could be going down the highway and it could snag on something and snatch those brakes locked on you. You run over one of those gator backs on the road, big old retread laying in the road, it could grab that cable. So I got me a Velcro strap and I strapped it right up here to the tow bar arm. So here's the new locking pins for the NSA tow bar. This is an upgrade. All the new models come out with these T-bars instead of the ball that was on this originally. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these, give you an up-close view of the process. Now before we start, you notice I have the towed vehicle still attached. I just want this support here so I can work on this. You can obviously do this without your towed vehicle attached, but if you do have your dinghy attached, make sure it's in park or you got the wheels chalked. Okay, I'm gonna need a pair of vice grips and my trusty big crescent. So the first thing we're gonna do is get the old out. It's that easy. And we're gonna take the new one. There's what it looks like. Brand spanking new. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Start that thread. Get my hefty crescent and go ahead and lock it down. And there you have it. Got the new locking pin in, and it locks right in place. That's a great sound. Now I'm probably gonna go back and add some Loctite to this. I'll also add it to this one when I replace it. But it's pretty simple to do this upgrade. I'm gonna take my two crescent wrenches and go through and tighten everything up, give everything a good safety check, do some lubrication on the parts that need to be lubricated, keep it clean, It'll work for you like a dream. The Ready Brute Elite 2. I love this tow package and I still recommend it. We put a lot of hard miles in the past six weeks on this gear. We went through the Colorado Rockies and in the Missouri Ozarks up and down and not a problem. Love this tow package. And thank you, Randall, for your expertise and getting us these new T-handle locking mechanisms. I mean, quick. He was on the phone within two days and uh, had it to us, very fast delivery. Thank you so much. If you enjoy the RV lifestyle and love learning more about it, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video or this series on the base plate, the Ready Brute Elite 2, or this upgrade. Also, ring that bell to be notified when new content is available. Leave us a comment and share our videos. And until I see you again, fair winds and following seas.